How many poor little rabid limbs do you think get torn off in this place? There's so many exposed gears everywhere. What's that down there? Oh, it's just a red thing at the base of the thing? Oh. Thought I saw a thing. What are those gears even for? They're just in a weird pile. And what's that one... What is that one weird thing in the top? Oh, right. Sure. It's that thing I don't know what the name of because I'm bad at mechanical engineering. <laughs> Even in the mechanical world, rabbits fail to mesh well with society. Yep. Yep. That's not how gears work. On the bright side, that uh, that gear appears to serve no purpose, so at least it's not breaking anything, I guess. Well, this looks like the puzzle segment of this world. Look at this. We need a way down, but the pipes aren't connected. Huh. Let's see what those switches do. They, they rotate the pipes. Like, like, like they always do. Oh, look! There's a mushroom. But I don't think I need it, do I? No, I don't. Everyone's healthy as can be. So I can't even get off right now, right? Yeah. So that's one option. That's not an option. That's not an option. Okay, so we have one option for the first part. N nothing else connects. But I want the pipe. Not the pipe, the box. Um. I guess that's how they stop you from, like, getting killed, <laughs> basically. There we go. So these, these uh, boxes come up to block the pipes if you get yourself in a situation where you can't go anywhere. something so so weirdly pleasing about these oops that's where I just was I, I, at that angle it, I tricked myself into thinking it was gonna go all the way across no same thing again dummy I totally I keep looking at the end of the pipe this pipe doesn't even go where I want it to go but now it's connected to that platform there we go there's something so pleasant about this just these moving parts and this aesthetic I need to get to treasure tracker at some point. Oh, you, that makes you go up and down, huh? Okay. Where does that go? Well, it's down here. It connects. Then we can send it back down. Wow. We're completely trapped in this spot. There we go. Oh, I keep missing it. Oh. I don't need the mush I don't need the mushrooms, so I'm not really gonna make an effort to go track it down. What kind of options do we have? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. We have one option. These are always a pleas- these are usually a pleasant experience. There's, there's been one or two that were kind of annoying. But these are usually some kind of pleasant experience, but I would say that they're less like puzzles. They definitely feel less like puzzles and more like untying shoelaces, or untying a knot. And that like, it's not so much a puzzle as in like, you're just methodically working through a thing that more or less has one way of approaching it. It's a metaphor for something, but for the life of me, I can't remember what. Pushing a boulder uphill? That kind of thing. Ta-da! I did it. <laughs> I think the only I think the only optional thing there was the one chest and the one mushroom I don't need. Defeat all. There are it looks like seven dots. Up top, what do we have? Two peekaboos. Ah, lava ghosts. Great. And supporter. Supporter. Peekaboo peek. Oh, God. So we have four peekaboos and two supporters. Is that the right count? Oh, okay. That's not the stuff you want to see. 
to support suck because they heal people for half their health, and they have grenades that can knock you out of cover. Peekaboo suck because they teleport, which makes them immune to Overwatch, and they also have super high damage long range attacks. So I have an incentive to get as high as possible, as fast as possible, because if I'm down, if I'm down low, they get the damage bonus against me, and I don't want that. They also have an ability that draws me out of cover. There's two enemies. There's two enemy types around here that can draw me directly out of cover, which is not great. Then they have a smasher. Just one smasher. That's the only thing that's in the central platform. Okay. So we start up here. Is this the same platform that all the peekaboos are on? Yes. So I don't have to go down there. He's going to try to come back. Oops. I guess I should double check to see if anyone needs to level up. Mario! Could upgrade that dash. Or those hit points. Or that empower range. Or that empower percentage. I'm gonna do that one. I like empower. Rabid Luigi is, I think, is gonna keep saving up for the last health upgrade now that his dash is fully upgraded. And Luigi's not in a big hurry either. Everyone else can wait for a bit. I was trying to do the lock button. There we go. So he can reach this far. So I'm gonna not go down there. I feel like he's placed there as a trap, essentially. Because uh, if you want to go take him out in one turn really nice and clean, you'd run down there and attack him. But then you get in trouble because you're putting yourself in danger of getting sniped by all of those enemies simultaneously, which I will remind you are attacking from two different directions, so you can't even take cover from them. They will just snipe you. So staying up here and behind cover is the best move. And I want them to come to me, because the thing about the spooky enemies, the ghosts, is that they squander their advantage on a regular basis. Because their advantage is that they have their snipers. And so like, but they don't use they don't use their snipers the way I use my sniper. They have a tendency to just go teleporting around after the first turn. So while they are in, in nice like nicely placed cover right now, we've established in that one like really long level I played before, and by long I mean it was it was hallway shaped and had a sniper roost above it. That the they will just leave if they don't have a target they'll just leave their sniper position, and then they they're they're squandered. So first turn is just going to be all about not entering this guy's zone if I can avoid it. Let's see, and whatever I do, I don't want to do Overwatch. No, I do want to do Overwatch, because if I do it against this guy, I can take him out in the first turn. Relatively easily. So he can hit me from there. I want to head on this side, because then we are at the line of sight direction where we can take cover from everybody. So you can reach good cover. You could jump off of him to reach this good cover. And then you can jump off of both of them to reach this good cover, so they'll be safe this turn as a result. But I kind of want to bait this dude. Which I won't reach him as fast as I want it to. Not from here, but I can do better. Because I'm going I'm to overwatch this guy. Because if I can take him out in one turn, then we're golden. The question is, can anybody hit him from here? Line of sight is now established. I can make that work, though. Can he reach you when you're in the cover? No. Okay, so Rapid Luigi's gonna go first, actually. Yeah. And Mario can jump off of him and stuff like that. I wanna go over here and shoot him with the rocket. That'll bring him up here, hopefully. I think. What's your chance? I'll, I'll double check. Wait a minute. I, I skipped an important step again because I'm stupid. But it doesn't matter because we're in range, so it's fine. There we go. Want to make sure this guy dies this turn. Oh, he's burning. Is he still going to run towards the tunnel? Or do I have to do make additional moves? Oh, he didn't make it. It's usually a good thing, but it's kind of not. Kinda not. Well, I have no use for. Well, I do actually. I do have some use for Overwatch because there are two supports, but I don't think they're likely to charge us necessarily when I'd want them to. What's my car damage? Oh my goodness. My car can finish that guy off pretty easily, even if I don't have line of sight.
I do kind of wonder if the supports will be dumb enough to enter line of sight, but they're so far away, I think they might be literally out of range to make it kind of pointless. With you, I can jump past here. I'm gonna take it. As expected, we're not in gun range, right? But we are in car range, because that always works. That's pretty much what I'm going for. He's gonna charge us, though. So can I be smart about this? Oh, I should. Let it go out, let it, let it hit them in a, in a future turn. A long-term attack. That's the way to go. Yeah. I'll steely stare this guy, because he's gonna charge me next turn to attack me. And Steely Stare will take him out between turns, and I can send the car after them. And if it reaches them, they'll die in like one hit, I think. Yeah, they have like 230. And if not, they'll waste their turn shooting it, which will also be nice. I don't think I need to use Weaken. It, it won't reach him anyway, and also he's gonna die when he comes up here. Yeah. I'm happy with that turn. Oh my god, support, I dare you. Yes. Oh, critical, high ground. They're, they just, oh my god, are they going to lose both their supports in the first turn? Oh, he didn't fall for it. That's the only remaining unit on the board that can be affected by Overwatch, and <laughs> I really, I genuinely thought he was going to get himself killed. Well, that's not good. Oh, they're taking out my cover. They're not taking the bait of shooting the car like they used to. They got closer to the car, though. Which means it's definitely gonna hit them next turn. Oh, or this- or right now. No! <sighs> well, fuck me, right? <laughs> Second time that's happened. Alright, well, we're back and I've performed the same actions. Let's see if the same results happen. And snipe. He's now got an RNG element of like the AI might behave differently. That's still happening. Ah, uh, you took my crit, game crash. You took my crit from me. I earned that. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Well, that changes things. That didn't happen last time either. The, you took my crit, you gave it to that dude. That's not nice. Don't give that guy my crit. Now we're at the now we're at Luigi's all like isolated from the group and out of jump range. You're still shooting my br my brick. You're still shooting that. You still want the same place. So they did- they did, so the AI did the same thing, it's just that the- What the fuck? Ah, uh, is that a thing that happens now? Am I not allowed to use mechanics because they'll break the game? Oh... Like, literally break the game? Not like, wow, you really, uh... Figure out how to break that game mechanically. Like, no, like, I literally, like, is that gonna break the game consistently and crash it? Well, they're gonna give me room to iterate. I'm gonna jump to an either further platform. So I'm, so I know what I'm doing with Mario and, and, uh, Rabid Luigi. I can at least plan that much. Then I'll be in line. I have to shoot that one dude and he goes for cover, and that'll be satisfying. Well, I was hoping that that would get to range so I could just blow him up. Dang it. 
I'm gonna avoid that strategy, even though it should be a completely valid strategy, and I'm really happy about it, and I'm really mad right now. Uh, I'm gonna not use that. Uh, I just don't want to crash three times in a row. So instead, I'm just gonna shoot this guy and hope that my Overwatch takes out both of the supports. But I am not pleased with having to alter my strategy in a video game, not because it didn't work, but because the game didn't work. <laughs> That's a bummer. Suddenly it becomes a little more clear that this is in fact a Ubisoft game and not a, uh, a Nintendo game with that Nintendo polish. I think... Like, playing with Andrew and stuff, I think I've played, like, several different uh, Nintendo games on Wii U. And, uh, I don't think a single one of them has crashed a single time, actually. But, but I'm pretty sure Zombie U crashed on the Wii U. You know, the Ubisoft game. <laughs> Isn't that an interesting little trend? Hey, buddy! I can see you now. Oh, he took cover immediately, so I can't just shoot him twice. Oh, well. No, don't- oh, am I in grenade range? Holy crap. The, the immediate damage stacking on Luigi is severe. Almost like that other cover point was better, but then the game was like, No, you can't attack from here, the game will break. And I'm like, crap, I gotta come up with a whole new strategy now. Well, this time the bounce didn't happen, so that's something. My movement range, his burn range. I should be able to burn him first, and then no matter where he goes, he should still be within my movement range. Talking then- No, he managed to actually go out of my movement range. That was a bad call. No, he didn't. Never mind. My movement range is amazing. Even more amazing -er than I ever thought. Okay. And it can be even more amazing. I can go way down here. That's probably not the best call. I wanna- I wanna vamp somebody to help Luigi. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I can kind of be a distraction over here. Or weaken them. At the very least. What's up? Bye! I can weaken one of them, or I can super barrier as a distraction. We'll see who survives the turn. Tempting, but 50% chance. Also won't reach him. Uh, it could be such a great damage source that even hurts their cover. But like, the game could also just crash. <laughs> and I don't like that I'm thinking about that. I'm really bummed out that I'm thinking about like, should I do this strategy that's totally valid, or should but or should I avoid it because I might crash the game? That is such a disappointment. I don't want to be in that headspace in pl while playing this game at all. If Lu if I weaken that guy enough, Mario can jump over and then stomp that guy and take him out. I would stomp him, then land over here. I think. To hammer that guy, and then they're both down, and then Luigi's significantly safer. But will the game crash? Ah, uh, don't crash! Oh, thank God. Oh, but knocked him down there, which makes oh, he's dead, so it doesn't matter. Well, it kind of doesn't matter. It, in other ways, it matters in that, like Mario might not be able to reach him. Oh no, that's a problem. Okay. Where are the remaining spooky ghosts? There's one supporter down there, one ghost over there. Wow, they don't have much left, actually. In which case, Luigi moving forward is not invalid. And Luigi could make up the difference by taking cover on this side instead. Which should clean up the difference in how much space Mario's trying to cover. Except Mario can't, damn it. My mistake, Mario can't even reach Luigi in the first place. And Itchy Feet wouldn't have saved that either. Oh wow, that was just an all-around screw-up on my part. 
And hero side won't help because they're ghosts. Well, there's no walking that one back. Except having my tanky Mario character stand in the open and be like, Hey, everybody, shoot me instead of Luigi. We could try that. <laughs> Ah, I screwed that up. Well, I can overwatch. And I'll take out the support if he runs at me. And if I spring him with this shot, which is, has a chance of happening, 50% chance, then he'll he'll get overwatched out of the sky. Oh, thank goodness. You're a nice game that does nice things to me, except for the parts where you crash. Yeah, itchy feet when it turns over. That's a logical thing to do. <laughs> I might as well do Super Barrier. The guy's gonna throw a grenade at us. It's gonna hit Luigi. I made Luigi such a such a nice target too, by doing that. My only hope is that he moves first and then gets shot by Mario. This guy's so far away that he can't shoot Luigi, right? He's gonna shoot Mario. Yes, exactly what I wanted you to do. Yes, he moved first. Spring him. Oh, he's dead. There we go. That went- wow, that that went exactly how I hoped it would, and I did not have any faith that that would happen. I need to cause damage to you to heal. And you're the only remaining enemy. So there's the vamp. That starts things off. Now it's old Luigi. Luigi gets in a little dash right here for a little bit of bonus damage. Then I'm just gonna shoot him point blank. Ah, you have 100% vamp now. 195, right? 234, yay! That's that, that crit was the best thing that could have happened right there. I think Luigi's fully healed. Because he- oh, or everyone's gonna get healed anyway, so it was pointless. Oh well. <laughs> I guess that was the end of the act. Yep. Well, I still felt clever for healing Luigi. Because I care. I need, I need those heart, don't take me away, I need these. There we go. Just gonna remind myself how much health Luigi has for this pointless detail. 290, oh yeah, I totally fully healed him. Nailed it. So I can go for bonus itchy feet range if I want to, or bonus team jump range, which is very tempting too. Itchy feet cool down. I'm gonna go team jump range. You can get that last health upgrade. 430 hit points in a character that has 100% vamp steal. 160 damage per hit. So he can he can heal 320, not even counting the damage he does to them afterwards that also does vamp steal. God. Like, he has to be dead. He has to basically be dead to not be able to heal. High ground might be the next thing to get. No, weakened range is worth getting. I got them down, yeah, to 50% weakened. I can take it down to 70% weakened. And then I can also make it so the range, instead of being 6 cells, is 9 cells. It's expensive. But then I can weaken people pretty successfully. And then I, and with this, I can make it an every other turn move. I think that's the go-to, because he doesn't have a very strong edge weapon to begin with, so putting points into high ground bonus just doesn't add up to that much. When he's not doing much damage to begin with, his his ability to dash and weaken are seemingly his uh, advantages. We can go for M power and save up a little bit more for slightly more range, even though I often use it at the beginning of the game when everyone's standing next to each other. Or I can go for more health, which seems like a good call. Although stomp, uh, let's save up for stomp range, right? Damage is tempting too, but range in particular, well, all of these are really good actually. I like the idea of stomp range just because it means he gets his equivalent of the of the double team jump like Luigi does, because because he would get more range in a way that only that he just doesn't have. He frustratingly just can't cover the arena very well the way that Luigi can. Okay. Peach's extra dash or heal range. Let's go for the maximum heal power. I'll give her some bonus range. Rabid Mario. I t that dash explosion's dangerous. Magnet range, that gives him utility. He doesn't usually have. I just don't care about Bodyguard as an ability. 
All it does is like reduce dash damage. How often do I get dashed in this game? Never. It's like, a, it's so occasional. I feel like it only happens when those shield guys are left alive for too long and I'm near them and then they dash me. That's like the one time it happens. Healing jump range, just make it gargantuan. I'll take it. Now she has a 20% heal that has four cells of range, which is massive. I'll go for the high ground bonus at that point. Hello, you strange character. Yeah, maximum dash damage. Now he can dash five people in a row for 90 damage each, dealing devastating one-turn damage if people are actually around to take it. Let's go for second health upgrade. I'll take it. I'm hoping that whatever crash that was only affects that exact spot in that exact level and never again, even though it's highly unlikely, just because I don't want to think about it ever again. I just want to not be worried that my moves... Because not, not, for a while now, I'm going to be afraid to use my car, which is a bummer. They built a special machine just to unclog the to that toilet. Whoever used it last must have held it in for a long time. Who took a dump in this toilet? A cement mixer? Oh, hello. Oh, but we can't dig these without the power, so it doesn't matter. That- that's- I would- if I were to take a guess, I'd say maybe that- that cannon might shoot you into the secret level. Good to see there's at least one rabbit who's got his butt in gear. Haha. <laughs> Gosh, I'm on a roll today. What is he doing? He's just working out. Like his, it's a routine to make him really good at jumping from a sitting position, I guess. Or he's just jumping across the gear over and over again. Huh, okay. You do you. It's not orbs. And panic mode. Panic. Panic. That was the wrong one, kind of, but also maybe not on a crap. Uh. Wait, that was it? Wait, I thought something way more complicated was gonna happen. I was. I had so much time left. Weird. Peeper Reaper. Um. Okay. Interesting name you got there. When it comes to this melee weapon, it's an eye for an eye with an eye. Oh, peeper, as in like eyes, not um okay. Concern. Oh, I forgot to check whose weapon it was. <laughs> I forgot to check whose actual weapon that just was. The wrong menu. Battle gavel, so it's probably you, right? Wasn't it a hammer? No, they just all look like hammers, because that's the icon. Whoops. Mushroom Marauder. Ballistic Mystic. Was it you? The King. Nothing burns hotter than the King, and as it turns out, nothing explodes like him either. Oops. But who got the Peeper Reaper? I lost it. I lost track of who had it. Golden Rocket. It's probably not a new tier anyway. Maybe. 